Well, good morning. Just uh, uh, it's a sort of a part one of a uh, dumpster dive score. And uh, uh, I scored a bunch of uh, stuff, some 3335As, uh, some 8663s, a 3585A, um, some 33250s. A um, bunch of them seem to be working, a bunch seem to be broken. Uh, they've all been rejected or retired from uh, uh, calibration uh, lab. So uh, managed to score them from the dumpster, and uh, we'll go through some of them in the next couple of videos. Uh, anyway, this is the first one. I got this uh, U1253B, uh, and they're, not a, they're sort of popular, but they're sort of not popular. A lot of people, this my little uh, pointy stick. <clears throat> There's my little pointy stick. The drink of the day is uh, some uh, grapefruit vodka and uh, uh, soda from my soda stream. Uh, once I finish this video, I'll be going making some eggs Benedict for uh, uh, for my lovely wife. Anyway, um, these seem to be somewhat popular, somewhat unpopular. They're sort of polarizing meters because of the OLED display uh, that's here. Uh, the OLED display chews through the battery really quickly. Um, and so, uh, uh, a lot of people don't them. And also they had a problem with the OLED displays um, uh, running out. And that's in fact what happened with this one. And in the first version of this uh, video that uh, my SD card died, um, I replaced this uh, OLED display. I just went on to eBay, bought the cheapest OLED display, <coughs> took the uh, other one out, put it in. There was no soldering, no nothing, just reassembled. Bam, Bob's your uncle, it came up uh, running. Uh, so I can't really show a lot of this, but one of the things I do like about it is this thing has, if you have a quick look, it has the um, uh, Bluetooth adapter uh, on it. And so we'll take a, a look at that uh, when we start uh, just a quick play with this. Now, uh, this was rejected. Uh, I don't know why, um, but it appears to be very accurate. It appears to be um, that the, the uh, current and so on works correctly. Um, one of the things that I did get in the, um, uh, in the uh, uh, dumpster dive was also a, a, a 30 amp, I think it is, 30 amp current shunt. Uh, it has a broken uh, wire on it, but uh, we can just solder that back together. Uh, so we'll be able to test the current. I can't test it today because I haven't got the, the current shunt uh, up and soldered yet. But anyway, uh, this thing seems to be reasonably accurate. Uh, and so, so let's take a quick look at that and look at how, it, and so uh, what you should see now on the screen, I'll post it in. But basically what I have is I have a uh, handheld, uh, I have the meter locker software that walks to that meter via Bluetooth. This is on Windows 11, so it works with the current version of Windows. And then I have a little uh, uh, app that I've written uh, that just does a, a demo of the uh, uh, some of the settings. So what we can do is we can just set max uh, voltage. Let me select that one first, so that I'm in the right one. There we go. And you can see that uh, we've got uh, 20 volts set. And uh, we can set it up and down. So let's just do a ramp up and down. And what we're doing now is we're going through and setting the voltage. And then uh, what we can see is we have the sense leads connected, so we're pulling off that, and you can see the uh, the voltage is coming up, and it's you know it's fairly it's pretty accurate. I don't know exactly how uh, accurate the spec is. I'm supposed to have a probably have a look at that, but it's ninety milli yeah, it's ninety millivolts, or you know, so out. Hmm. Ah, all right, here's the problem. There we go. I had the when I moved around the little. My little uh, lead is pumping out. Okay, there we go, that's better. So now the sensor's connected in, you can see that we're very accurate in terms of the, uh, what's coming up. So I think overall, this is uh, uh, working fairly well. And it's a, it's a pleasure to program. It's uh, very simple. It took me uh, virtually no time to whip it up. I really need to do something with these leads because they keep popping out. Oh, well. You know. Um, anyway, what I did discover while I was doing that, and uh, uh, what we'll 
we'll see is that uh, the rotary encoder here uh, seems to be a bit broken. Apparently, that's uh, fairly standard. Uh, they go uh, quite regularly. So, again, I went on to eBay and uh, I bought a little uh, rotary encoder uh, from uh, this guy. Well, got a couple of things from him uh, for my 34401As and so on. It was $10 for that. Uh, and I really, uh, well, anyway, $10 for that. So that was uh, uh, quite good. So what we'll do is in the next video, we'll pop this cover off, uh, replace that, and uh, see that it's all working. Anyway, I just wanted to start the whole uh, dumpster dive process and uh, let you see uh, what should be coming down the path in a few uh, weeks. All right. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.